What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? And welcome to yet another tutorial from Tutor Bros. Hello to all of you software suckers, audio freaks, video vandals, and of course, the lovely knowledge hunters that are a part of the Tutor Bros community. Welcome to yet another video by the before mentioned Tutor Bros. We are diving into a most actual, most recent subject the new and amazing tool incorporated in the latest version of Adobe After Effects the Roto Brush 2. I'm very excited about doing this together with you, Christian Zenheiser Heiser. Hello, Christian. Hello, Matt. How are you? I'm fine. And to the viewers' uh, uh, information, my name is Matt leblanc -er, And uh, this is a video that's been requested by a big following of our Tudor Bros community followers. So uh, we are happy to deliver this to you. This is um, something that I think you should... Uh, Tell the viewers about Christian. Uh, what is the new Rotor Brush tool and what can it do? Let me tell you, Matt, I am so excited for this to finally be in the full version of Adobe After Effects. I'm I, I have actually been using this tool that I'm gonna talk about in the beta version of Adobe After Effects. So there's actually another version of Adobe After Effects that you can use, you can download, and it's called the beta version. And it's a bit funny, you know, it's a bit unpredictable and some weird things can happen. But well, you do also at your get own risk, right? This is a, a little warning. That's use correct. Risk. That's correct. Might, might be dangerous, but might also be worth it. Yes, I mean the risk benefits the meanings. Uh, so yeah, well, I, don't don't step out of the don't step out of the cliff if you don't have your parachute. That's parachute true. Case. I mean, and, and I mean using this version. I would not recommend it, you know, the beta version for when you're doing uh, hot projects, as I call them. But for experimenting and, you know, trying out new stuff, the beta version is wonderful. And you get actually early access to these this new exciting tools that the amazing Adobe After Effects team is creating. So it's kind of like a laboratory where, you know, different tools meet, meet each other and, you know, it's sort of a ah, mishmash. You're, you're sort of almost getting getting closer to the Adobe development team. It's almost as you are in the room together yes. with them, trying out stuff with them, laughing, having some beers. I mean, just, just talking it out with those. You can actually guys. be a part of the experiencing, you know, building up this Adobe software, being a part of that experience is is amazing. And and being that close to the Adobe team, sending your feedback, which I recommend yes, a warm, everybody does. It's a fulfilling experience. And, and also keep in mind that experimenting is is learning and, and I mean you can't you can't start uh, grabbing the cats and throwing th throwing them on the wall unless you have tried a, a couple of ways with butterflies or dogs or something before so very so true let's let yeah let's let's not keep the the dogs in the hen house and, and uh, before you have tried the, the cat shoes on that's very true Matt so so let's 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 look at what we're actually talking about here so we're looking at the tool that's as I said has been in the beta version which is called rotor brush 2 and yeah this is a this is a uh, what, what should we say, like a, a sequel almost to, to the to the first two, which is actually called Rotor Brush, just Rotor Much Brush. Much like the, the, the Terminator series, where, yes. where the sequel was in fact very, very good compared to the first movie. And, and I would say that the Rotor Brush uh, uh, sequel is amazing. And it's, it's very much a need for a tutorial, I would say also, because a lot of people are wanting to use this in their upcoming projects. And we, we want to deliver this that's why we made this tutorial as quickly as possible for, for yeah, you guys. Yes, and a lot of people have, uh, you know, experience trying out the rotor brush, the first rotor brush tool, and, and being angry with it and, and not getting it to work. And uh, the rotor brush 2 is a super exciting new leap in technology which will actually enable you to work much quicker with it. And the very exciting thing about rotor brush 2 is that it's actually using AI, Matt. So that's machine learning. Do you know what that is? Well, I think it's uh, short for uh, artificial intelligence. Yes, uh, I've uh, I read somewhere. So, uh, and that's why I am uh, uh, extremely uh, excited about this. Uh, it, it's a nice reference also to the Terminator movies. Uh, do you think that the uh, AI in this Rotor Brush Two is somewhat similar to maybe the AI created for the Terminator robot in the movie? Or I mean, it's... there are some clear differences. This is a, a kind of an early AI. This is is not that kind of AI, which is kind of that all encompassing. You know. Um, that you know thinks like a human and you know wants to take over the world and kill everybody go around with laser guns shooting this this is a very early but i mean they are still connected and, and there's nothing you know nothing uh, 
could well, could, things could happen. Things sure. could happen. Um, this could potentially be something that starts, you know, World War Three if the Adobe team is not careful. You know, uh, they, they, you have to have a lot of respect for them. They work so hard, and and they're actually, you know, forming. Well, big shout out to the team. Of big course, shout everyone. out, and 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 the way they're implementing this, I'm sure they're doing it safely, and uh, you know, not yeah. letting the AI uh, run amok, as you say. It, it is. Uh, I'm sure they are working in a safely controlled environment, so uh, we can use it in a safe way. Keep in mind that to be be careful when you're working with uh, beta software, and especially at Rotorbrush 2, because it's a very, very powerful tool, uh, we should say. so. Um, but I'm very interested in, in seeing the new feature share, so I think we should actually dive right into it. <laughs> So, in order to do this uh, experimentation, you might say, for the Rotorbrush 2, we have actually gone ahead and skipped a few steps that we are usually bringing into our tutorials. Uh, the, the whole initial phase of starting up Adobe After Effects and creating a composition, we have now been leaving out. And in the process of leaving it out, we actually left it out. So that's that is what happened. But for those of you who, who are uh, confused in how to open the software and uh, getting the composition up and running, go ahead and watch our logo animation tutorial part one and you will get a full uh, tutorial about how to do that. Yes, and uh, so uh, without further ado, let's get started with this. Uh, I've actually downloaded uh, a, a little clip and uh, uh, this is actually a kind of a funny clip. Uh, this is a funny Trump dance. So. This is a kind of a relevant clip, you would say, and oh yeah, we are in the midst of an election. Yes, so this is actually very relevant. And clip. I think in a in a in in a election as serious as this, it's sometimes good with a little humor. So, I, I've got this uh, this this Trump dance that he did at one of his rallies. So we're we're gonna drag this in, and we're gonna actually drag this from this panel all the way down to the layer panel, and we're gonna let go. And there we are! And, and what happens there? Uh, did it create a composition or is it just uh, moving the, 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 the movie file, so to speak, into the layer? Yes, this uh, is actually creating a, a video layer down here in the layer. So so it's, it's taken the video file and it's created a video layer down here. So we already had our composition set up. I did that before. And uh, as you said, you can check out our previous tutorials for that. So now we have a video layer called Funny Trump Dance. And here we have, have your president, Matt. <laughs> uh, up here. That is in fact our president. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm not very fond of the guy, but uh, I, I hope that he puts his effort into what he's doing uh, as much as anyone would uh, in the position that he's in. Is he a good dancer, though? That's the question. That well, we, we can we can looking at the we can take a look, Matt. Here. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna press space for play here, and we're gonna see what we have to work with. Oh 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 oh! Is <laughs> he is indeed. Uh, let's see that dancing. again. <laughs> I mean, I think we all need a little bit of this now during the pandemic, you know, a little a little dance. Sure. And, and I mean, if you can't uh, laugh uh, at it, uh, as I always say, if you can't laugh at it, close down your computer, restart, reboot, take off your shoes and try again. <laughs> <laughs> that's right and that's eight. so that's true matt you you need humor to survive in this business and you know in life you know as a lifestyle you need humor i would say my my one of my lifestyles is actually humor i use it a lot for clients for myself for my family you know humor is important everywhere in life when you go shopping when you go to work humor is always there you know and this it's is always present this is just a little a little gift, a little contribution to, to our followers in, in the terms of humor. So this is what we're going to use the Road to Brush 2 tool on, actually. And for our followers, I don't think they are much surprised hearing about that you are a, <laughs> a, a man of humor, because many a laughs have been created thanks to your wonderful sense of humor, Th Christian. Thank you, Matt. I, that I, is actually one of the reasons that I, I enjoy and like you as much as I do. I appreciate that, Matt. I, I really do. So. Okay, so now we're actually go, gonna go ahead and use the tool. So first we're gonna pick out a suitable frame to start with. We're gonna go actually, let's see here where it looks. I, I think we're actually gonna start on this first frame here. 
Okay, frame number one. And uh, I mean, frame number one is a good place to start. I'm gonna tell you that right away because the rotor brush two tool works in a certain very special way so hmm. i actually re recommend you go with frame one you can start with other frames too but it will easily get a bit complicated for you and those could be uh, for example frame two or three or, or ten or, or maybe even uh, 57 or something like that. any those of those numbers frames as long as you don't go you know ahead of the max Past frame the limit for your video clip exactly because then and you will this... actually go to the to the transparency grid again let's get started with the rotor brush tool so mm. if you go up to the to the little menu up here you will find this little icon here it's like a little little brush painting a little guy he's he's, he's a little guy yeah, in it's his... a one one-legged man and and a, a big sword. i i think what, i think the brush is uh, obstructing his his leg actually i, I or, or maybe it's actually painting his leg uh, it's I, I think it's a a man with one leg or a woman, it's a person with one, it could be a child. It, it actually looks like a child with one leg and some sort of sword mm. just taking taking the leg away. So, But that is that is the icon for the rotor brush. Yes, uh, uh, and, and sure. we can see here. Rotor brush tool, drag over foreground, alt drag over background. And there's a shortcut, alt W. Alt W. That is, okay, that is actually, uh, that, that brings up another concern that I've always had with the software that the, the, the key commands doesn't always correspond to uh, a smart reference in the, when it comes to the tools. Mm. I mean, uh, I would rather have, uh, for example, the key command being Alt R or Alt B or something that, that corresponds to the name Rotor Brush. But here we go, it's Alt W. And uh, I think my, my pro tip for, for new Adobe users is make something up in your own mind that helps you remember uh, why W should be connected to the rotor brush. And in my mind, I imagine the little child with one leg just jumping out of an open window a couple of stores up in, in, mm -hmm. in a tall window, a uh, tall building. And, and so I, remembering, I remember window uh, is connected to the rotor brush and then I, I, I instantly uh, get the key command Alt W. So that is my way of remembering the rotor brush key command. That's a, that's a great tip, Matt. Uh, I, I go actually with just rotor brush tool. So it's like I almost have a little speech impediment, like rotor brush, or, or like almost like I'm a small child saying it, rotor brush tool. Oh, a rotor brush. That so exactly. That's another way of remembering it. And I, well, we all we all have our ways of understanding key commands here. I, I will say, fascinating. I'm sure there's a there's a thinking behind Alt W. I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, I mean, well, I don't want to slam down on the poor guys over <laughs> no. to the Adobe development team once again. But Wonderful because those guys. guys are Wonderful just, guys. They have my full respect for everything that they're doing. I mean, this is, however, one thing that could sometimes frustrate me. Who, who are sure. we to question their their choices? Really, in this in the software, and who are we to understand what they the meaning of this shortcut? Uh, I'm sure they have a perfectly valid reason for it but let's not get caught in this detail uh, let's dive nope. right into the rotor brush tool we are looking at the uh, the dancing buffoon here uh, in front of us uh, excuse my french and uh, we are now about to uh, take our first exciting steps towards uh, using the rotor brush 2, the amazing new tool from Adobe. So uh, w what would be the first step here when uh, applying the rotor brush in on frame here, Christian? So with the rotor brush tool selected, we're gonna double click the video. We're gonna double click the screen here, the composition. All so, right. are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. And looks almost like nothing changed but we're actually sure. in a whole other video we're actually inside the video we're layer inside itself. inside the video layer yes and you can see we have some new options that has popped up over here we have sort of a new little timeline here with some strange stuff and we have some some this is actually the little baby but with um, two legs that's interesting so so we could hmm. maybe assume that the it, either he got the leg painted on by the brush or you know the brush is actually obstructing the view as i said but i would actually argue that the icon with the leg removed is is uh, something that happened later on in the child's mm. life so so um, 
that's the storyline I'm having in my head. It right could now. be entirely different persons as well. So, but anyway, d these these are some 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 things we're gonna look at later. And but for now, we're actually gonna use. As you can see, the mouse is turning into this little this little. Um, it's a green crosshair. Almost, yeah, this little like green a gun sphere with the a crosshair. And if I mm. hold the control key on the keyboard and I drag with the mouse. I'm actually increasing the size of this and we can see clearly that. that it's a little cross here in the middle a little cross and and ah. and a sphere surrounding it or a circle to be to be to be frank but this is the rotor brush tool and uh, it's good that you have um, uh, increased the, the size of the the brush because now you can select a much larger area without uh, being being forced to go through the hassle of using a small brush yes it's very good now we're gonna actually start using the rotor brush to two. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna click and drag, click and, and drag. that's gonna create a sort of paint structure, you could say, like a paintbrush, like you would use in the paint program. It's as if a green, uh, rather rather big worm is now being entangled yes. all over uh, President Donald Trump's entire body looks very very well it's almost it's, a bit it's, uh, soothing you could say it's almost like um this is meditative for me this is very uh, my brain is almost shutting down and like i can feel an inner peace spreading across my body uh, this is to me meditation but that's that's another reason that i love working with the effects and the adobe software bundle so much i find myself uh in a in a state of, of, of total comfort and, and peace and inner quiet, serenity, you might say, when I'm working with these kinds of things. And the Rotor Brush 2 is no exception, my friend. Uh, truly, truly a, a wonderful tool to use. Just filling out that area with a green, gooey mass uh, and covering his body with it. It's. I mean, after I'm done with this, my whole day is just complete. I can do whatever I want uh, without being bothered by it so so um it's just a great tool and i think that uh, i think it's jennifer over at the adobe development team who has been actually working with these kinds of things you know making the tools so that they are just wonderful to work with and also making the tools so that they spread spread an inner peace uh, within your soul uh, i don't know what her title is but i know that she is uh, hired by the de development team uh, for those kinds of things uh, just shows shows another part of the development team's uh, uh, their progressive thoughts and the way that they develop their software. Just wonderful. Okay, Matt. Uh, what I've actually done here is I've filled out, as you can see, all of Donald Trump. And as you so beautifully put, put it, it's, it, it was a wonderful experience. And I... I Full heartedly agree with you uh, about you know the meditative uh, experience of this, and this is what I think is 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 the biggest benefit of the Rotor Brush Two tool. This this sort of uh, calm experience that that you know uh, VFX it it can be a quick medium, it can be something very exciting and fast and lightning and fire. But this is this is uh, it's a big uh, big up to the, to the Adobe team for this. Uh, shout out for, for making this experience so so uh, so beautiful, really. So now that we have him all filled out with this this uh, green kind of. Uh, experience or color or whatever we should you want to call it we're actually gonna release the mouse button now so are you ready yes we are and uh, now it is released so it so, looks uh, like not much happened maybe yeah on a, on, on a on a close look but on, on a closer look you actually see that his he has been outlined uh, with a pink thin thin line and uh, it, that line actually shows us that you have successfully managed to trap, you might say, uh, Donald Trump uh, in a contour or in a figure. That's correct. And nicely done. You can see there has been some mistakes here. So, so if you can follow the line from down here, for example. Yep. Yeah. You see that it, in fact, does not. You know, 
it, it's not correct here. This is actually the background, which is yeah, inside. Part of the background has been uh, trapped inside the, the the area that we only want to. Uh, Trap Donald uh, Trump, yes. Trap Donald Trump, so to speak. That's uh, correct. So, so that, that has to be corrected. And and how do one, uh, uh, how do one go on uh, with removing a part of the area that's not supposed to be there? Well, there's a trick to that. Uh, and uh, first of all, we're gonna actually make the cursor or the the sphere with the little cross inside. We're gonna make it a bit smaller first. So we're gonna use the Control and click and drag command. So we're gonna make it maybe like that okay yes, and now it is uh, it's conceivably smaller it's uh, it's actually uh, maybe half the size uh, that's correct and, and now we're gonna before. we're gonna use another sh shortcut which is the alt key and we're gonna press that and you can see when i press when i press the alt button the cursor actually becomes red yeah, it transform and y you can actually see that there is a uh, subtractive sign uh, yes in, in in the in the midst of the circle there it, and it means actually that when you are using that tool uh, while holding down the alt key you remove parts of the area instead of adding them so this is that's a very i would say that's a crucial tool uh, when you are doing rotor brush work you need to be able to know the alt command or you will be in great great amounts of trouble when your client uh, comes to you and wonders where uh, where is the project is it ready no it is not you have to say because i do not know about the alt command but now i do thanks to tutor bros and so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hold alt and we're gonna draw just like we did before but with this this kind of almost nasty red color we're gonna just drag a little bit very nasty like this and you know really get in there and we're gonna let go let go with the mouse button and there we are i mean it's that easy it's that simple this is why rotor brush 2 is such an amazing tool i mean working with rotor brush 1 on these sort of operations was <laughs> i mean it was sometimes nerve-wracking you know when you had clients behind your back screaming when is it finished we need the product now you know the the, the customers are waiting it's breathing down your neck and the phone's ringing off the shelf yes and, and your email box is <laughs> yes. just red with flags i mean it's Where easy to panic in a situation like that and, well, and i have we do to be honest, be panicked honest. a couple of times in situations like that and it hasn't been good you know uh, for me but it, that's that's why Rotor Brush 2 is such a great upgrade, you know, being able to do this quickly, efficiently, and, you know, with a smile on your face. Well, it's truly a digital lifesaver, the, the Rotor Brush 2. I would say it, 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 it's already, uh, it's been improving my life quality 2 to 300 uh, percent since they uh, included it in their update. My life has been better, I'm feeling better, I'm sleeping better, and for some reason my stomach pains have almost ended. And uh, I, I used to have this pain in my left shoulder, and it's completely gone since I started using uh, Rotor Brush 2. So I'm, I'm very happy about the, the update. And I actually emailed uh, Greg over at the Adobe Dev team, uh, just expressing my gratitude, and uh, I actually sent him some stuff uh, via uh, the snail mail as well. Uh, just just to show the guys over there that I, I really care about their upgrades, and uh, in this case, a big big game changer for all of us. It, 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 it really is amazing and and uh, so now that we actually have him masked uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna actually press yeah and when you say masked uh, this is actually a good thing to bring yes. up here and we, we're not talking about a, a robbery mask or or some sort of villain mask or this is actually a term used uh, within uh, VFX or in, in, in graphical uh, interfaces or when you're working with images and photos masking means that you're actually removing something from its content uh, and uh, without destroying the image uh, without using a eraser so to speak that's that's correct mask it's good of you to bring that up and, and especially now during you know the pandemic a mask means something com completely different to completely a lot of people different. and and so but no what this is a, a meaning that word has changed oh what my god Matt. oh thing. my god things things have happened Things have happened in the world. Things have truly happened, and and the word mask uh, is now something that uh, everyone uh, uses. Mm. But um, for us, who are uh, dwelling in the Adobe world and the community, 
for us, the word mask has always been meaning one thing, and I'm hoping yes, that it, 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 it was that. it was funny when it was starting. Uh, you know, when, when people started to use it in mainstream, and and I, you know, you're, you're watching the news and somebody's talking, yeah, about, talking masks about masks, and, and I'm like, are oh, they... they're, they're talking about, but uh, and and then of course it wasn't. It was the yeah. the pandemic Big masks, and and of course uh, yes. respect to all those people who are, who are getting hurt by this uh, pandemic, and and uh, we uh, I absolutely condemn the pan pandemic, but. But uh, well, but when I, I hear mask, it. I hear something else. So so yes, oh. okay. And, and, and how big a pandemic it, it can be, uh, uh, how big it will be, and it doesn't really affect the way that I view uh, the word mask. For me, a mask is always masking in in the VFX world. Very uh, true. But as you say, uh, I do very much condemn the, the pandemic as well. I do not approve of it. Mm. Okay, so we finished masking uh, your president here, Donald Trump, and... Looks good, it looks very good. So now we're actually gonna go back to our composition. Right, now we have... Uh, we are leaving the the movie's layer, and we are moving on to the composition. Yes. Where we have the layer. So, here we are, I mean, we have President Donald Trump, and we have actually su successfully masked Donald Trump. We have rotor brush toed him out of the background he's now standing alone and i mean if this isn't mind-blowing i don't know what is i my mind is racing off the shelf right now i am completely baffled by this uh, I, of course i have seen the rotor brush uh, tool in use before but this to me is something completely different it's so amazing um i'm actually um as we speak i'm writing a letter to the adobe development team uh, greg and susan over there I mean, I'm just I, I am filled in, with I, gratitude and love right now. This is this is too much to witness for me, to be to be fair. Um, let me tell you, Matt. Since this Rotor Brush 2 has, has come out, I've been just shaking my head in disbelief for weeks. This is this is a game changer. Do you, I, you of all people, realize what you can do changed. with this? You can put anything behind him. I mean. Well, well, listen, there used to be a game, and we, we used to know that game, but now that game is changed forever. I, I mean, I there's no even... coming back from this, uh, let, let no. me tell you. And, and What used to be the game is no longer. This uh, this is a total game changer. Let me show you, um, let me just show you something something super quick here. Let me create a solid for the background. Now, look at the, look at the, the contours. It's just, it's too much to witness, really. Uh, I, I've been working with VFX for 35 years, and to see an AI perform a task like this in real time with you Christian this is this looks so amazing I mean look I just added a pink background uh, oh, it's gosh. actually very funny oh, gosh. watching the president in a kind of a pink setting you know he's a very manly man you know he's angry and something. screaming but this is a we could not do this a couple of years no, back it would have been impossible I'm mean, just so happy that we did this tutorial and I think that a lot of our, our followers and viewers will find this tutorial highly enlightening. Um, as usual, um, you got more questions concerning the Rotor Brush 2 tool, or got any more praise and love for the Adobe development team or for, for Tudor Bros. Leave it in the comments, we will respond to everything as usual, and we will make more videos about uh, the new Rotor Brush tool, of course, if that is requested by you guys. Uh, Christian, any last words before we sign off today? No, I'm just uh, reiterating that, you know, this is an amazing opportunity for all of you out there to, to make some exciting stuff. I mean, the possibility with this is is endless. Uh, you could have a jello background, a pink background, you could put a horse behind there, I don't know. Use your imagination, be creative with it and, and show us what you make with this tool, you know, leave, leave a... A, a comment w uh, about what you're creating down below and, and you know like and subscribe this video for more rotor brush videos and it's been great doing this video and i'm gonna go back to using this tool now with uh, lots of my projects so uh, it's gonna be a busy day i can imagine and, and i mean as usual uh, kids out there uh, keep experimenting with the rotor brush tool i mean yeah, you can't put down the burrs until you have your shoes back on and, and let them fly so to speak so 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 this is truly a, a moment for you guys to experiment with the rotor brush tool show us what you got show us what you can make of this and we will answer your questions in the comments as usual press the like button hit that bell subscribe and uh, uh, me and christian will be back with more more tutor bros videos uh, shortly so uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good weekend you guys bye